They say that money doesn't buy happiness, but it certainly buys freedom. The freedom to choose the type of lifestyle you want, the freedom to travel, and maybe most importantly, the freedom to choose where you put down roots. Some states attract rich people, so let's take a look at the nine states with the highest median household income. Number nine, Virginia. People who don't live on the East Coast might think of Virginia as the birthplace of a bunch of presidents, or they might think of it as being a southern state that fought for the Confederacy during the Civil War. What they might not realize is that it's also one of the more affluent states in the country. According to CNBC, the highest earning region in the U.S. is the area surrounding Washington, D.C. in Virginia and Maryland. This region is referred to as the DMV by locals. The richest county is Loudoun County, Virginia, where the median household income is $129,588, which helps bring up the average for the rest of the state. Three other Virginia counties are in the top five highest earning, Fairfax, Howard, and Falls Church County, giving the state of Virginia a median household income of $80,615. Number eight, Washington. It's probably not a shock that Washington is on this list since the Evergreen State is home to Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. Those billions bring up the average, so I'm actually a little surprised that the state doesn't rank higher. According to the Seattle Times, among metro areas in the country, Seattle has the third highest household income at $110,781, thanks to the high-paying tech jobs in the city. That's a jump up from the previous year when they were ranked fourth with an income of $101,721. That also helps raise the average for the state of Washington, where the median household income is $82,400. Number 7. New Hampshire there are a few reasons why New Hampshire has a high median household income. For one thing, the state is home to Dartmouth University, six colleges within the University of New Hampshire system, as well as several private colleges and universities, so the residents are more likely to have a degree. Certain high-paying specialized jobs require a college education, so that helps raise the income for the state. The Washington Post points out that New Hampshire also has one of the lowest poverty rates in the nation at 7.2%. However, New Hampshire has actually fallen several places this year. In 2016, New Hampshire was the highest earning state with $76,260. The median household income is now $83,449, which is still a lot of money, but several states increased their earnings to move ahead of the Granite State. Number six, Connecticut. When I think old money, I think of Connecticut and people like Katherine Hepburn. Connecticut has long been known for having enclaves of rich people who came for money, but there are also plenty of people in the state with new money. The Nutmeg State is home to Yale University and many other higher learning institutions, so it has one of the highest rates of education, with 40.6% of the adults having earned a bachelor's degree. Many of the people who come to the state for college end up staying and getting high-paying jobs. The state also attracts people who have lucrative jobs in New York City but want the suburban lifestyle. That helps to drive up the median household income to $83,572. Number 5. California for some reason that I will never understand, society has decided that people in the entertainment industry deserve inflated incomes. Those lucky enough to make it in television, movies, and music see multi-million dollar paychecks. With many of those people living in or around the Los Angeles area, it drives up the median income for the state. California also has the presence of Silicon Valley with its high paying tech jobs adding to the bottom dollar. Not everyone is doing so well in the Golden State, however. According to the Public Policy Institute of California, income inequality is a huge issue in the state, with those at the top earning 11 times more than the families at the bottom of the economic ladder. They found that 20% of all net worth is concentrated in the 30 wealthiest zip codes, with those being home to just 2% of Californians. Once you factor in the income levels for the other 98%, the median household income balances out to $84,097. Number 4. Hawaii. Living that island life costs a pretty penny. Everything is more expensive when it has to be shipped in, so it's expected that incomes would also have to be higher. However, there is another factor to consider. Households in Hawaii tend to have more people living in them, so there are usually more people contributing to the income of the household. For the US, the average household is comprised of 2.6 people, but in Hawaii, it's 2.95. The Hawaii Appleseed Center for Law and Economic Justice says that 8.9% of the households have an overcrowding issue, which means that there is more than one occupant per room. So although Hawaii's median household income of $88,005 sounds like a lot, it doesn't go as far as in other places. Number three, Massachusetts. Aside from baked beans and the Boston Tea Party, the state of Massachusetts is known for being the most educated state in the US. It has the highest percentage of bachelor's degree holders with 45.2% of the adults having earned a degree. Massachusetts also has the highest percentage of graduate and professional degree recipients. This is due in part to the presence of 114 higher learning institutions in the state, like Harvard University, MIT, and Boston College. People with advanced degrees tend to earn more, so it's to be expected that Massachusetts would have a high median income. 
It also helps that there are certain communities that bring up the average income for the state, like the small town of Dover, where the median household income is $217,284 and homes have an average value of $986,000. Overall, the Bay State has a median household income of $89,026. Number 2. New Jersey One of the more expensive states to live in is New Jersey, so it stands to reason that people would have to earn more to live there. Like most of the other states on this list, they also have a high education attainment rate, with 41.5% of the adults holding a bachelor's degree, which helps bring up the income level for the state. Two years ago, Bloomberg News ranked the 100 richest towns in America, and New Jersey had 16 entries on the list, including Short Hills, Rumson, Upper Saddle River, Glen Ridge, and Upper Montclair, to name a few. All of the communities on the list had a median household income of at least $220,000. Part of the reason that New Jersey has so many affluent towns and cities is its close proximity to New York City. Many people who work in the city's well-paying sectors live within the bedroom communities of New Jersey and raise the income levels for the state. New Jersey's median household income is $89,703. Number 1. Maryland As mentioned previously, the counties surrounding Washington, D.C. are quite wealthy, and that includes Howard County, Maryland, where the median household income is $115,576. Politicians, lobbyists, lawyers, and other DC movers and shakers live in that area, bringing their wealth with them. Maryland also has health and research opportunities for those with advanced degrees in the Baltimore area, thanks to the presence of Johns Hopkins University, the oldest research university in the Western Hemisphere. These factors help give the state of Maryland a median household income of $91,431. The thing about all of these states is that those high-earning residents drive up home prices, so it's hard for regular people to buy a home and achieve the American dream. But you know, even if money were no object, I don't know that I would choose any of these places. I think I'd pick Vermont or maybe Maine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, show the love by hitting the thumbs up and sharing it on social media. If you really liked it, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the current field.